Starting with version 20.1, Oxygen improved the JSON support by adding the ability to validate JSON documents against the JSON schema and also to validate JSON schemas according to the specification. In this demonstration, I will show you these improvements in detail while working with a set of JSON documents and schemas. First, I'll open the JSON document. I immediately notice that the file contains an error. This is a syntax error that was triggered by the default JSON well-formedness scanner. This scanner detects errors automatically as you type, highlighting them in the document. You can also invoke the check well-formedness action manually from the validation menu and you will see all the reported errors in the problems view below the editing area. In my case, correcting the problem simply involves inserting the closing bracket for the name object along with a comma separator. Note that more validation actions are available in the validation drop-down menu. You can add more constraints to your JSON document by validating it against a JSON schema. My project already contains such a schema, so I'll open it. This schema defines the structure of the document and adds some constraints. For example, the schema architect wanted each person object to contain the following information ID, name, email, and a link to that person's manager. Note that for the email property, a built-in email format check is applied. For the name property, a name type is defined. In this example, the name must contain a family and a given property, and their values are enforced by a set of constraints defined in the name value type. Also, each name value needs to contain only letters and should not exceed 20 characters. Back to my JSON document. To check if it conforms with the rules defined in the JSON schema, I can use the validate with action. I set the URL to point to the JSON schema, then execute the validation. Notice that there are two errors that violate the rules defined in the JSON schema. The family name contains an invalid character and there's an incorrect email address. Using the validate with action to validate against a JSON schema is on demand, so if you perform any modifications to your document, you need to invoke the validation operation again. Notice that the errors are displayed in the problems view below the editor, but they are not highlighted in the editor. To benefit from the automatic continuous validation support, you can associate the JSON schema with a JSON document through a validation scenario. For this, you need to use the Configure Validation Scenarios action from the Validation menu. Create a new validation scenario for the JSON document and specify the JSON schema to validate against. In my case, it's the personal schema.json. Now, the document is validated against the JSON schema automatically as you type and the errors will be highlighted in the document. Oxygen also offers support for validating JSON schemas. If a JSON document has the schema property on the root, it will be validated as a JSON schema according to the version specified in the value of the property. I will create an error by changing a type reference. After validating, the error is presented in the results view. The validation support for the JSON schema is similar to that offered for JSON documents. Check well formness, validate with, validation scenarios, and validate as you type. Note that if a schema does not have the schema property set on the root, it will only be checked for well formness. However, you can validate it as a schema file if you create a validation scenario and specify the JSON schema validator as validation engine.
This means that the schema errors will be presented even if the schema property is not specified on the root. Also, multiple JSON files can be validated from the contextual menu in the project view. To create a JSON document or JSON schema from scratch, you can use the built-in new file templates. For JSON schema, you can even specify the version of the schema that you want to create. These validation features are helping you getting more productive. Your JSON documents are always kept valid and consistent with the specifications. And this concludes my demonstration. Thank you for watching.